Hello academics, today we're going to take a look at what gravity is and what it's all about. Gravity is a universal force of attraction between all matter. So, why don't we just float off into space? Because the Earth is pulling on you and you're pulling on the Earth. This attraction is gravitational force. Why do we need gravity? No, just kidding, that's not all gonna happen instantaneously. However, the deletion of gravitational force would still have some detrimental effects on our planet. All objects that orbit the sun will fly away, and with no gravity to hold objects together, they will slowly disintegrate. And with the sun having an equal force of gravity and outward pressure to mold it into a sphere, all the pressure has nothing to hinder it, causing an expansion and an uncontrollable possible explosion. Without gravity, the Earth isn't attracted to the Earth anymore, depleting air from Earth, and not only will we suffocate, the decrease in air pressure will be so drastic it will turn our inner ear inside out. Floating poop. No, seriously. On the Apollo 10 space flight in 1969, well, someone decided to empty their bowels, and apparently the poop managed to escape. Let's try and visualize gravity. Gravity is caused by a bend in space-time. The more massive the objects, the bigger the bend and the more powerful gravity. How is gravity measured? Using units of acceleration. We use acceleration because gravity causes the acceleration of the objects that it affects. Terminal velocity is the point in velocity in which an object stops accelerating due to gravity when free-falling. Heavier objects reach terminal velocity slower than others, and this is because, although they accelerate at the same rate as Earth's gravitational acceleration, 9.81 meters per second faster every second, heavier objects have a higher terminal velocity that takes more time to reach as it's approaching a higher terminal velocity at the same rate as an object with a lower terminal velocity. Gravity has two opposing forces, buoyancy and drag, or air resistance. Now, the thing is, terminal velocity occurs at an equilibrium, which is which all of these forces begin to equalize. Thus, the object stops accelerating, but it doesn't necessarily slow down either. With heavier objects, gravity has more effects. And thus, it takes more time for gravity and drag to equalize, resulting in equilibrium. However, with lighter objects, gravity's force is uh, still the same. However, buoyancy and air resistance have a higher effect on it. Thus, it equalizes faster, reaching its terminal velocity faster.